After I built my first 3.5 inch scythe, I wanted to put a naked GoPro 7 on it and ended up buying a plastic beta FPV case which felt a bit weak and contained quite a number of tiny screws to hold everything together. I bought a few damaged GoPro 8s to repair and strip down. I then discovered that purchasable cases were really expensive and I really wanted to find a 3D printable option but nothing I found worked well so I decided to design my own and came up with the following key requirements for a design. Printable in TPU, very few or zero screws, can be directly mounted to the scythe. Not heavier than existing designs, but ideally lighter. Can optionally fit Mavic Zoom 2 Air ND filters. Optionally fit Beta FPV backboards. Reasonably absorb a light crash. After some design thinking, I took inspiration from a screwless protective case I carry in my pocket and decided that a phone case design with the back being left open would be how I would move forward. I worked on the GoPro 8 case, which wasn't terribly difficult due to the compact lens compared to the 7. And after a few test iterations, I had a design I was happy with. Printing as one piece is slightly challenging, but I found out that using tree supports worked best and wasn't horrible to remove. Once I had the 8 design done, I decided since I bought a ton of damaged 7s for cheap, I would also make a case for that, which should also work well with the GoPro 6. This was slightly more challenging due to the longer lens, and I decided to have it stick out the front instead of the back that is seen in most other designs, since that would be more suitable for an open back case design. With the longer lens, the 7 was more difficult to install in the case than the 8, but the method is the same. Take the lens and install it mostly into the lens hole. Slide the main board into place and then push the lens in even further. Take a thin blunt tool and gently pull the TPU corners around the board. During this process you can then push the lens in 100% so it is pushed into the front end. While not required, the case was designed for the Beta FPV backboard, including spots for all the buttons and LED to show. Everything seems to hold in place well, but I opted and recommend a bit of hot snot around the backboard to ensure that it doesn't disconnect if jostled. The GoPro 8 has a tiny mic board which can fit nicely under the brim of the case once connected to record decent audio. With the integrated 45 degree angled mounts for the scythe frame, the TPU alone comes in at 7.5 grams, with a respectable all-up weight of 22.2 grams. The GoPro 7 TPU somehow ended up slightly lighter at 7.33 grams, but comes in at over 2.5 grams heavier with all electronics at 24.9 grams due to the longer lens. The dry weight on the scythe for the 8 is 116.6 grams, making the all-up rate about 176.6 grams for the 550 milliamp hour 4S battery. Optionally, I can press fit the Mavic 2 Zoom ND filters, which can provide some additional lens protection and cinematic video feel. While really light, you can obviously feel the extra rate of the GoPro, but it still has a ridiculous amount of power to weight, especially compared to any Cinewhoop by an extremely large margin. And after a few flights, I got used to the extra weight. For scenic or cinematic flying where you don't plan on crashing at speed, I was very happy with how it turned out. This is not something you'd want to take into bandos where you'd be crashing all the time, unless you bought a lot of spare GoPros. And I definitely wouldn't recommend flying into steel beams, concrete, or trees, but you do get an extra rush understanding how bad it might be if you do. Cinewhoops are great for slow flying around people, but for something Agile, extremely responsive, with ridiculous power to weight, while being well below 250 grams, this is absolutely perfect. I've published this design for anyone to download on printables for a 45 degree 3.5 inch scythe mount, and I've also published just the case without a mount so that you can add a mount for any frame that you wish. If you do design one for another frame, let me know and I'd be happy to either link it or throw it up for others to download. Recursion Labs.